Listen up. It's just in. All the gossip. Gossip. The rumor report. Gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. But I do want to correct a mistake earlier that that was actually Barbara Streisand and not Ben Miller and Meet the Fockers. Everybody's right. Oh, so it was Barbara Streisand instead of Bette Miller. Yeah, that was in Meet the Fuckers. Big well, mistake. Well, Sorry, guys. Well, yeah, it's okay. We all look alike to them. They all look alike to us. <laughs> that was my mistake. I'm sorry. I love you, Barbara. She's from Brooklyn. All right. Now let's talk about G Herbo. Now, if you remember, G Herbo was on lip service and he had some things to say about his relationship. You know, they have a newborn baby. Everybody loves to see the two of them together. And here's what he had to say when he was on lip service. So my girl trying to do his fight. But she crazy. You know what? Y'all need to have a conversation because it could end up really bad. Like it no, could uh, end up. I ain't gonna, it ain't going to end up. No, I'm, like too... no, I'm just saying because it could be somebody else called the cops. Like anything could happen and it could be something that escalates too much. You, sir, have to I always make sure you de-escalate. No but on some real shit, y'all should probably, because you have a kid now. Yeah. So it probably would be helpful for you guys to just at least work on those things because you like, guys love each other. Like, she'll get mad. She'll be yelling like with my son in her hand like she right there fight me already well now his uh his child's mother is going on social media i guess they did break up she said i'm single i'm only addressing this because you weak ass hoes effing folks and i'm not gonna lie it's embarrassing because y'all so weak so i don't want y'all to think y'all effing my n-word f at your own risk so i guess she's like i don't want to be embarrassed and people think we're still in a relationship so that's the only reason i'm publicly letting y'all know that i'm single right now Oh, I got you. That makes sense. Wouldn't you do that? I guess like, if you were dating a high-profile person, you would do that, right? Right. There's uh, sleeping with other people. I don't want people to think we're still together. She said, honestly, what's most embarrassing is the N-word out here effing hoes that look up to me. Even if it wasn't uh, a high-profile person, if you was in school or something, you'd let everybody in the school know we ain't together no more. They can do what they want to do. Right. Well, they have a very feisty relationship, so uh, they have broken up and gotten back together. It feels like quite a few times, so maybe they'll work through this as well. All right, Tina Turner, a musical based on her life is coming to Broadway. And I'm, by the way, very excited about that because uh, my mom actually used to love Tina Turner when I was growing up. So I know like every Tina Turner song. So I'll definitely be going to check that out. I love Tina Turner, but I'm not sure we need that only because of the greatness that is What's Love Got to Do With It. One of the most classic biopics of all time. I don't know why Angela Bassett and Lawrence Fishburne did not both win Oscars for those roles. But that I don't know if we need that. Like, well, wouldn't you want to turn something that classic into a Broadway play like they do all the time? I don't know. It I'm deserves honest, it, like, man. You know the songs so are phenomenal. Tina Turner was a great dancer. Listen, I love what's got love got to do with it. The movie, but if you watch it now, it's very triggering. <laughs> you be, you be like, I be cringing. Like, God damn, like, no, man. So I don't know if I want to see that. On, if they, they probably but it's show really that what happened. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> All right. And um, let's talk about Nicki Minaj. She's starting her own merch line. Now, the other day, we took a picture at the iHeartRadio Festival. And shout out to Mike Kaiser. He had on his Cardi B merch. And is a picture of her with a knot on her head from the Fashion Week party where uh, her and Nicki Minaj, I guess she threw a shoe at Nicki and then somehow she got elbowed in the head. She has her own merch coming. Well, it looks like Nicki Minaj has hers as well. She posted a picture of a bag and it says, Nicki, stop my bag. So that's her way, I guess, of throwing some shade back at Cardi because uh, Cardi's claiming that Nicki Minaj was trying to stop her bag. I don't know if Nick, I don't know if Nicki stopped her bag, but the police definitely investigated Cardi over what Nicki Minaj said on Queen Radio. So is she going to get a bag that says, hi, I'm an informant? Whoa. <laughs> hey. I'm just saying. Well, I'm damn. Just saying. <laughs> if you see something, say something. <laughs> what is she going to do? Like, what's she going to do next? All right, and shout out to T.I. Let's not forget his album, Dime Trap, is out today. So make sure y'all go cop that. Also, Dave East and Styles P, their beloved album project, joint project, is out today as well. And I think uh, Ghostface has an album out today also. Well, you know Ghostface Killer is my favorite MC of all time. The Lost Tapes. T.I. is one of my top seven favorite MCs of all time. And I rock with Styles and Dave East, so I got some good gym music for the week. Yes, you put Styles P definitely above Mace. Uh, it's, not even, it's not even close. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just had to bring it up again. <laughs> All right, well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report.